Of course. So the end momentum trial is a trial in um, what I really appreciated here is that there was more diversity included. So one of the concerns that we have when we practice is that our Hispanic patients or African um, American patients, how are they responding to different drugs? And for most drugs, we don't have that because most of the trials are involving uh, white or Caucasians and don't have a lot of diversity. So uh, in the world of NMOSD, so that stands for Neuromalized Optic Spectrum Disorder, um, us clinicians tend to see that patients that are Hispanic descent or African descent tend to have a more aggressive course of the disease. We don't know if there, it is because of a genetic factor, um, is it you know, cultural, is it because of the lack of accessibility, or, you know, because of a disparity. So, um, but we do know one of the questions that we always have in trials is how are these patients going to respond to the therapy if they don't have any representation in the trial itself. So in the end momentum, they did have a group of patients that identified themselves as Hispanic or Latinos. And um, basically, these patients were subgrouped and they were compared to the white participants also and to see if there was a difference in how these patients responded to therapy. Was there a difference on uh, side effects and safety profile? So um, long story short, there was not a difference. So patients responded well against placebo. Uh, there was not an increased uh, side effect profile or eff they, they didn't lose efficacy. So the relapse rate in the primary endpoint was met despite being um, of Hispanic descent. So I think the implication is that uh, we're always wanting to add more of, of the groups that are considered to be in disparity in our trials because sometimes when we, are, when we have to choose a medication, one of the questions that we have is, how do we know if this patient is going to respond well to this medication or not? Um, it's still, it was still a small group, so NMOSD is considered a rare disease. So being a rare disease and having a, a, a number of patients that were included, that, that is great, but we still have to do larger studies to include uh, more Hispanics and more patients of African descent, not only in the NMOS uh, world, but also in the MS world. So I think we have to include um, centers that have a larger number of patients that are Hispanics in, in, in African descent patients. Um, I'm not sure of the reason why we don't have many enrolled is just because of coincidence or where the studies the centers are or is it because patients may not want to participate um, or because of a cultural bias but I think expanding maybe to include uh, centers that have large number of patients or even include Latin America in studies would be something to look into.